What you doing other nerds? I'm going to talk about The 100, Season 7, Episode 16, the series finale, The Last War. Now, oh, I'm not even sure how to start with this one without spoiling anything. Let me just get start with saying, this finale was a bad ending to a story disguised as something good. No, I liked the episode, and the actual finale itself did not disappoint me as much as I thought it would. It's just, it has me feeling weird, and just looking back at everything that's happened through the series, I'm not sure if this season, series finale is supposed to be good. I think it's just disguised as something good. But the episode itself was better than the ones leading up to it, and... You know, I usually hate endings. I'm still kind of on the fence about how I actually feel about the ending of the series. But I'll stand by what I said. This is a bad ending to a story. Disguised as something good. Now, let me actually get to the spoilerly stuff so I can kind of explain why I think this. So, first off, the episode opens with the part I care about most. Raven, Jackson, Murphy, rushing back to Sanctum to save Amori. Well, it doesn't work. She dies, and then Murphy, out of grief, decides to take her mind drop, put it in him. Now, you know, this is not good for people. It, it's, having two mind drops can pretty much kill him. But he wants to spend that last moment in that mind space with Amori. Big change in his character from going from someone who do whatever to his life to wanting to spend the rest of it with Amori. And it's really sweet. It's a big change in Murphy. Oh, I'm just going to go ahead and say Murphy has the best character development in any story I've ever seen. Period. And I could do a whole bunch more about that later. But, that's where the Murphy and Mori story kind of ends for the finale. Now, Raven leaves this group, and Miller eventually finds his way back, grabs the prisoners, goes back to Earth, uses their weapon to clear out the cave-in, gets everyone out, and decides to make a plan. Their plan is pretty much to lead an army to Bardo, as a distraction, while Jer Jordan EMPs all their weapons, or all their energy weapons, and the Raven goes and tries, Raven and Echo? Yeah, Raven and Echo go and try to find where Clark and Octavia went to try to help her. And that's kind of where we move on to Clark. Clark, Bill. Bill went to take the test. He realizes he was wrong, it was actually a test. And he's in this round kind of thing, with a bunch of stars and stuff. And there's this sun being, some energy, whatever it is, that takes the shape of his daughter. He says it'll be the judge for his test. They start it. Clark shows up behind him and shoots him. A lot. Just brutal, kind of cool. That's it. And now, Clark's the one taking the test. And for Clark, we see that it's Lexa. Now, I know the whole Lexa thing is a big deal. It's hard to believe, I don't know. It didn't really seem like Lexa and Clark really had that much going on with them. Like, if you think about it, they weren't together that long. Most of it was betrayal. I don't know, I still think Clark should end up with God, whatever. Or Nala, she was with Nala, and then that kind of just be right. I don't know, I think there is better choices for Clark than Alexa, but that's a whole different rant. She should have been with either Nala or Gaia. Whatever. Anyways, Clark makes some really good points. Um, just saying, pretty much she had to do what she had to survive. Uh, a whole bunch of arguing just leads to Clark fell on the test. Now, look, to be fair, Clark probably wasn't the best candidate to prove 
humanity's humanity. She's done a lot of stuff. There's a lot of struggle. And she's done it for what she thought was good. Yeah, but yeah, she fell. That's it. Um, she goes out all sad. Goes to Maddie. Runs into Raven. Raven goes in to try to change her mind. Raven talks to him. And they go out to show the battlefield. Sanctum side on one side. Barter side on another. And they're... Clint Raven, who sees Abby, which, who I figured Clark should have seen. I figured Clark would have saw her mom before anyone else. Right, or Clark sees Abby. I mean, Raven sees Abby. And they go to the battlefield. They see it. She's like, they're going to have a war. Well, Shade has lying in the trees to make sure that happens. And then that's... He starts it. They start shooting. Levitt tries to stop it. Um... He gets shot, Octavia goes out to save him, Echo goes out to save her, Echo gets shot, they drag him away. It's kind of some cool stuff, I guess. Eventually, <laughs> Indra gets everyone to stand down, then the Bardo eventually stands down. Shadow pops up again to try to keep everyone fighting, Indra shoots him, blows him to bits, and then it's peace. Everyone... The energy, I don't even think they ever gave a name for whatever this is supposed to be. Sees that, oh, humanity can be at peace, decides they all pass the test, so everyone turns down a light, goes away, except for Clark. Yeah. Like, it's fine. And then, Clark goes on a little journey with Picasso the dog, ends up back on Earth, ends up at some random beach. Sees Lexa energy thing again. Lexa energy thing tells Clark all about this stuff. Like, Maddie wanted her to be happy. Clark can never go with them. But, er, the main group, besides Maddie, decided to come back. Yeah, they left. And joined Clark on Earth to do whatever. Yeah. Also, just takes another poke at Clark that nobody's ever killed another person while taking the test. Hey, that was still kind of cool. Now... It sounds like a happy ending, kind of. All humanity gets to transcend. Except for Clark, but then her friends come back to join her. There's just a lot of questions that I'm just not into. Uh, one, it seems too good to be true. It kind of makes me question if they're even actually really back or this is just another thing they're just doing to Clark. They're kind of like make her and think she's in this. Maybe she also actually transcended and this is what she's seeing. But it's her own doubt that's making her feel like she didn't actually transcend. Because they even see transcending as a choice. Maybe she transcended, but she didn't accept it fully. You know, and we only see Clark's perspective. The other thing I don't like about this is this whole transcending, this whole light stuff. It's pretty much exactly like the City of Light. Back in Season 3, pretty much what happened is... Allie, who pretty much just mimicked what these energy things were doing, and because it says Becca was offered to take the test and she refused, so if Becca knew about it, that means the AI created after her also knew, that means the AI was just mimicking whatever this was. That means everyone ended up just doing a City of Light thing anyways. The thing they fought so hard in Season 3 not to do, they ended up doing. That's why this is a bad ending. Humanity may have found peace and accepted it, but they gave up on humanity and became part of this overall consciousness of who knows what. And I just... It's not a good ending. It's a good ending. That's only hiding the fact that it's bad. And like, I don't know how else to think of this. But yeah, if it's not, if this is all happy labor after, it's also just gets me thinking, what next? Like, what does this group do? These are the last humans left in the universe. Are they going to have to repopulate? I don't know how that works. Technically, Amoria was dead. We don't know how any of this stuff happens and... I don't know. It's, it's a bunch of weird stuff going on. And I don't know. It's There's a lot of feelings I have for this show. I really like this show. I wouldn't have done this whole video series for this series. 
for the last season if I didn't really like this show. I don't know. I think I'm just sad the show's over, maybe. I don't know. There's a whole lot of feelings I have for it. I just thought about it the whole time, late into the night, just trying to figure out how I actually felt about this. And it's not the worst thing. It, it's okay. It's just disappointing that it's a bad ending. But hey, it's close to another ending I actually like. Everyone dies. Transcending is pretty much dying. I mean, it's gonna be boring. What are they doing up there? I don't know, who knows. But that's as far as I'm going around on this. Let me know what you think though. Have you watched the se season slash series finale? Do you like where the series went overall? There was so much development. I do like the dream that the character's on. I'm actually really stoked that Miller made it. He was like a really minor character until sometime in the second season. Then he just kept going. Murphy, greatest development ever. Clark never really changed, which I actually do like. All these characters have went on a ride and it's sad to see their journey is over for us, but I don't know, let me know what you think. But if you like what I have to say about the show, go ahead and like the video. If you want to see me talk more about other shows I'm watching because this one's done, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. You can see when I do all that. But until next time, I'm the AC. Thank you for watching. Thank you, D100. And bye.